Good morning. Thank you for watching Rise and Red Key. Uh, thank you guys for watching on replay on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Would you hashtag replay and let us know where you're watching from? Why are you? I think one morning I'm going to go live when you don't know that I'm live. Mm-hmm. You're gonna think that you're just getting the thing adjusted. Like you can on a live, you can push a, a Facebook live at least. You can push the comments to the side where you don't see them, and you won't know that we're live, so that these friends of ours can see you get this phone set up before we go live, so that they can see it and witness it for themselves and what it looks like and how horrible it is. What does that mean? Good morning, Janice from Johnson Town. John, I don't know. Good morning, Janice. Um, what do you mean it looks so horrible? It's a little uneven. It's a little. Back it up. Are you not? Are you not? This is this is over here. Back it up. Are you, is it, are you just not gonna move? <laughs> well, like everything else in your life, are we gonna have to bring the camera to you? Well, That's how most it talks of the to time, me. I'll have the the. I didn't this morning. Most of the time, I'll have the seat set, so I kind of have an idea where it looks decent. Mm -hmm. And you will come up, pull mm -hmm. it out of the way. And, like this. Are you ready? I'm not even in the camera. You can't even see me. <laughs> that's that's what I do. <laughs> so I have to. I talk like that. I talk like that. You're a dingling. That's You're actually, a dingling. That's actually your impersonation of a friend of ours. <laughs> I do have a friend. I do impersonations. I wish I knew each of you. I wish I knew y'all. Um, knew how you talked. Knew your accent. Knew. How, I, I love to imitate people. Um horrible at it but i've become famous for doing it and doing it terribly well i will tell you guys this um i'm on some new medicine oh shannon is excited because it is tutorial tuesday oh, i've run out of things to tutorialize there's nothing coming up shannon don't get excited now, we'll do something. don't do that don't lock me in man don't make me teach people. Things. I don't know what. What do y'all want me to tutorialize? I'm serious. What else is there? I don't have anything, Dave. I would do it, but I don't have anything. You have done. I'm like, taking Remy to find a bathing suit today. Y'all want me to tutorialize that? I can show you how to do that real quick. You have tutorialized like what three? Uh, and, food, exactly, and I'm out. Food thing. Oh my lord. You've tutorialized like, three you have to understand, things, you can, two or three Making a food things. tutorial is difficult when you're trying to eat healthy and you're like, why don't you just go in there and fry up a batch of chicken fried steak? That's hard. That's like, that's anybody that fries. Y'all know, anybody that fries anything, that is an undertaking, man. I don't want to do that. Well, don't do that one then. Then show them how we're going to keto <sighs> fry our chicken. <laughs> no. All right. Um, anyway... Sharon, that just reminded me. Tutorial swim gym. Y'all, world ain't ready. The world ain't ready for that. Um, but then that would be, because see, they come down tonight. They come down tonight, so I couldn't tutorialize it because it wouldn't um. be till tonight. Um, hey, from Greenville, South Carolina, how are you? Hey, Sharon just reminded me of something. Y'all, I am on TikTok. I know, I've called it the devil's app, and I stand by that. And I even made a TikTok once where I referred to it as the devil's app, and they haven't take, kicked me off yet. And I know that David says if you're on TikTok, then you work for the Chinese government or I didn't something say like you that. work. I just say you have to know that they're in your home and they see everything. Oh. Well, so are our kids. Sometimes I think I would prefer the Chinese government being in our home and seeing everything <laughs> other than our kids. So, y'all, I'm on TikTok, and I want to tell y'all, I'm killing it. <laughs> Y'all, she is. I wish TikTok wouldn't do that. When you hit it, it automatically makes sound. Okay, is that like a setting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called volume on your phone. Um, Y'all, I started out. Listen to this. Look at this. I started. Can you see that? 4,600 followers. She is. What? Killing it. I'm killing it. Went from 200 followers to 4,600 followers. Some people have like 85 million. We've got her doing dances in the front yard with children. Front yard with children. Oh, we have, um, she had she did a one minute version of your uh, streamer tutorial. Pineapple 
And my streamer tutorial. And streamer. Uh, there looks to be a, a horse beating that is going on. Watch this one. Did you turn the volume down? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't touch it. Uh. <laughs> now, if that's not entertainment, I don't know what is. <laughs> that's actually... <laughs> That's actually one of the least viewed. Don't keep doing that. Okay. That was Remy bent over with her hair and my cousin Bubba spanking it. <laughs> see? Do you see the wonders of TikTok? Oh, that's what that's your that's the one that got. This was my most viewed. Okay? And by most viewed, seven thousand views. Which is not very many views, I realize. I was supposed to bring dessert to our friend's house for dinner tonight, and I completely forgot the dessert. And you know what my child said? You do a lot just staying in there. You bring your presents. I bring my presents. Now, that's how you raise a kid. <laughs> yeah, it was, was the most viewed because, um, I don't, I think it was the most viewed be because it's real life. Um, but we did, we pulled up Friday night to have dinner with some friends, and I was like, Dad freaking blasted. I was supposed to bring the dessert. I was supposed to bring the dessert and I completely forgot. And in the back, she goes, Mom, you do so much. Whenever you're around your friends, you bring your presents. You, this is what she said. You standing there is dessert enough. I said, hold on, let me TikTok this. So y'all, see, all people can TikTok. Am I saying it wrong? Sure. David sent me a message the other day that said, keep on talking. No, I didn't. I said, keep on ticking. That's not better. That's not any better. Yeah, it is. It's the thing. I'm going to start hashtagging it. Don't, gonna, wear, don't wear your hat crooked like that. Gonna, I didn't mean to. It's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> keep on. Okay. Keep on ticking. Keep on ticking. Um, so, if y'all want to get on TikTok and go cute. follow me, it's going to entertain y'all that much. You know what you need to start to do to help remind them? You can share your TikToks to Instagram and Facebook. David, I can't press all those buttons, David. My hey, gosh. You know what? Can y'all show her how to press buttons? Show her by hitting that little share button right now. Somebody is laughing is? about the fact share. that we have a cousin Bubba. You don't have a cousin Bubba? Doesn't everybody have a cousin Bubba? Okay, it doesn't matter because today is Tuesday and that means Hot topics. And I have gotten new medicine. The doctor has got me on some new medicine, and it is messing with my sleep. And so I've slept, uh, I slept 10 hours last night. I don't know what's going on in the world. Do not have a clue. Might be riding in the street. Might, there might be, there might be teenagers on my front yard, in my front yard right now, want to talk about politics. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. So that reminds me, I didn't watch it. Uh, usually Jimmy Fallon's okay, but I saw a clip I wanted <laughs> to go back. I guess it was last night on Jimmy Fallon. <clears throat> Is this part of our Hot Topic Tuesday? Well, sort of. Oh. Um, it was on Jimmy Fallon last night. So uh, last night on Fallon, a guy that was cryogenically frozen in... Uh, this really happens? People have been cryogenically frozen. Nobody has come out of it that I know of. Oh. But this guy, <laughs> this guy came out of it, and I'm trying to think of the date. 20, 2016. 20, oh, I'm messing up on the date. But anyway, uh, Obama was president when this guy uh, went <laughs> in to be cryogenically frozen. I feel like and you're telling came. a joke that Jimmy Fallon told, but Jimmy Fallon maybe did it better. He's not better looking than you. And he's not smarter than you. I just you, told you, I didn't but even... But he can deliver jokes better than you. No, it's actually... Rocco can deliver jokes better than you. No, it's actually a guy, like a split screen, like he's talking to the guy. It's okay. It's a bit. It's a bit. It is a bit. Yeah. Okay. You didn't explain it that way. You didn't set it up that way. But you're so pretty to look at. Okay? So, go ahead and finish telling us. Oh, see, somebody saw it. She said 2009. Okay. Tell us I didn't watch the whole thing. I want to watch it, but I, the concept. Wait, we well, don't even know what the funny part is. That you're well, telling us. I know the one part was the guy was like, "Man, it's so good to it's so good to be back." So, uh, our, oh, we got a. Are we on our second black president now? What's going on? You know, and just he woke up in twenty twenty like, what the hell y'all been doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, so that was go. funny, David. Well, <laughs> that was good, baby. Maybe I should go watch it so I can explain it. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Okay, what did that just say? Thank y'all for coming to the Angelina County Farmer's Market. 
What? Thank y'all for coming to the Angelina County Farmer's Market. We love our Farmer's Market. I, I got, oh my gosh. Wait, did... I love it. Did you talk to some... I didn't remember talking to somebody. I mean, I remember well, we talking to the people, but... No. Why didn't you say hello to us? Sometimes I mean, people will say later. Oh, yes, I, I saw y'all at the grocery, but I didn't say anything. I don't know why. Okay. Anyway, Todd Topics. David, go uh, for it. I could tell a good story if David could tell... I didn't see what that was. I have a cousin, Boo Boo and Poo Poo. What? That sounds like an unfortunate name. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Just roll the clip. That is exactly right. Okay, baby, tell us hey, about it. I thought this was very cool if you have not heard about this. Okay, so um, a mother, Cynthia, uh, could, could you, uh, I had it down. Just say list. Cynthia K Sylvester. But that's not what it is. Cynthia Coogee Sylvester. Coogee, Coogee. Cynthia Coogee Sylvester. Sylvester. I'm having a hard time with that, too. Baby, what's going on this morning? I don't know. It's, my hat is messing We're me. losing people. My hat is messing Mainly me Mainly because of you. No, I think I'm the one that causes the Please to move on with it, baby. Okay, so uh, when she graduated college, she was pregnant, and so she did not get to go on to medical school like she had hoped. Mm -hmm. So she became an RN. She eventually even moved in to becoming a PA, but she always wanted to come back and become a doctor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. me too. Fast forward, she is 49, I mm -hmm, believe. I believe mm -hmm. it was 49. She's older than me. I want to point that out. She's older than me. Significantly. Significantly. Significantly older. Than older. Than me. So, how cool is this that Cynthia went through, attended medical school at LSU mm -hmm. with cool. her daughter, Jasmine? Okay. They went through medical school together. They, what? They graduated together. He? And now they are both doing their residency together what? at uh, the LSU hospital, the training hospital at LSU. The mother and daughter went together. Through, went Let me see through. a picture. Look at them. Oh my gosh. It, it's part of a video, it keeps moving, but. Oh my gosh. Really? I wish there was a still picture to show. That's, yeah, there's not a still picture to show. Um, but. Mother, if mother I and daughter. ever go through anything, any kind of schooling with Remy Hope, just know that God has come for us and He's taken the good ones and He's left behind me and Remy to go through that tribulation together. Okay, <laughs> I thought that was a really, I thought that was a really cool, really cool that story. That is a great so, story. I can't uh, possibly imagine it. They, the, uh, the mother Cynthia is going to be in, uh, Family medicine, I believe, mm -hmm. and the daughter Jasmine is going to be uh, sexual dysfunction. No, general, sexual dysfunction. General surgery. Uh, so anyway, I thought that was really cool. First ever mother daughter that went through the same university and pos I don't remember this part, but I, maybe at the same residency at the same place. So I thought that was really cool. That is very cool. That is a really great story. Thank you for sharing it. Do you have another one? I do have another one. Okay, what is it? Uh, this one. <laughs> Jody Foster just said. I can't even do fourth grade with my kid. Jodie Foster is what? Everybody's been quarantined with their kids. But they're, they're like, I can't get through fourth grade math with my kid. And y'all want to have me do a residency with them in surgery? I like Rebecca saying, poor daughter. Poor, poor she, daughter. She wanted her own. <clears throat> yeah, you know. know, she wanted to like live it up. She hey, wanted to like, so hey, Dave and I are both wearing our Giggum shirts this morning for Texas Aggies. Um... Yeah, so can you imagine? Melissa has pulled out an oldie, but I don't want to say goodie because I'm not sure it's really good, but uh, Grey's Anatomy. So can you imagine a mother and a daughter being... No. All, anytime I turn it on, it's just somebody what? else kissing somebody see, else doing the, something. Stop but, it. Stop it. There's so much more going on on Grey's Anatomy than that. David, if you knew the tensions that they were living in, they're living in it. It's like a pressure cooker, David. But are they, it's like a pressure cooker. Is it a pressure cooker? Because that they is just my mother. That's keep my mother. Making out with David Vaughn. People? It's like a pressure cooker, David. David Vaughn. Um, for your information, there's a lot more going on. I am now. I have begun watching Grey's Anatomy. I've never watched it before, and I am in season three. I'm at the very middle of season three. Hadn't it been on like 16 seasons or something? Like it that? has. I've got, I've got thousands of more episodes oh, to go. Oh, that's, that's good. And. That's good. <laughs> thousands. 
Okay, it might, yeah, exactly. See, Shannon Sheely said it might be the next storyline on Grey's Anatomy. You just gave it to him because you know Shonda Rhimes is watching this. Um, I took Shonda. Hey, Shonda. Sean. Hey, Shonda. Grey's Anatomy is the bomb. Thank you very much. I'm loving it. Don't smack talk Grey's. People get upset about that. They're real people living in a pressure cooker situation. So, Mother, you sounded like uh, the mom on uh, Schitt's Creek. It's a pressure cooker situation, David. Um, and what did she say? No, I don't want to hold the baby. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, What's your next? Because you're you're killing it so far today. Well, it, you're you're probably not going to think much of this. Uh, hey, I'm it's telling. Not, so, okay, let me say this right here. Cindy just said, "I homeschool two teenagers and I drink and cuss." <laughs> <laughs> you too should have your own television. <laughs> Um, great. McDreamy and McSteamy. So McSteamy has just gotten there. Now, he was referred to as a man whore in this last episode, and mm, I'm not sure he's not. not. He that's... has got a lot of sexual problems. He may be a sexual deviant. I don't know. But it's okay with me. Because have you seen what he looks like? I'm kidding. Um, I just lost my train of thought. This is horrible. Oh, it's, it's tough out there. You know, Hot Topic Tuesday, we want to talk about hot topics. But on Rise and Radke, from time to time, we'll hit the hard-breaking things that we need to address. But we want to keep it light. We want to keep it fun. I'm about to have to go out and make some news because there, there is not. There is literally not light. any news. And goodness knows none of it's happy. I mean, I almost brought something to the people where in Florida, there was a man walking around on the beach as the Grim Reaper to remind people of COVID. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Don't you that's, know he's invited to a lot of parties? <laughs> that's how bad when I'm, when I'm, I mean, there, there, were, gonna, there really was? Yeah, there really was. Guy walking in the Grim Reaper <laughs> trying to. And people are like, oh my God, that's Eddie. There, there, there's Edward again. Why do we keep inviting him to things? <laughs> he comes to parties as the Grim Reaper. Just wanted to remind y'all, Corona is still out here. <laughs> Uh, so... Who just said good morning from our cabin in Utah? Okay, Cindy, log off. Log off. Y'all, this is not... Th listen to me. What did I just tell people that I, What did I just tell... Oh, David. <clears throat> David and I. I'm sorry, baby. Were you done talking about the man in the Green Reaper outfit? Yeah, that wasn't even... I'm just trying to fill okay. time. Y'all, David and I have two kids, and they're going to summer camp this summer and 1st of August for two weeks. Two weeks we will. I'm, I'm whispering because I don't want them to hear us. Two they, weeks. They know they're going to camp. I know. Two weeks we will not have kids. And I told Hang David. Hang on one second. Hey, hey. He gonna take me out back and get me pregnant. Okay, that was a. It's a line from Thirty Rock. He's not really. He's not really. Shout out Tracy. We know you're watching Trey Trey. Tracy Morgan. Oh my God. <clears throat> Wasn't it Tracy Morgan that said that? Sarah Ortega just said, you need to get John Krasinski on. He'll help us find some good news. You must not know how I feel about John Krasinski right now. I am. That's to you, Sarah Ortega. That's to you. <laughs> okay, anyway. If we had <clears throat> Stop, rich I gotta tell this before friends, our kids come down the hall. Okay, okay so we're going to go out of town for two weeks. And we want to go on a vacation. But we don't have a lot of money. Because we're, I, I guess you would say. Do we say, have any money? What is the word I'm looking for? Poor. Broke. 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 So, um, because all of my spring dates got canceled. So, like, what, what the crap do I even do for a living? None of us know. No, I'm serious. My dad literally said the other day, what the crap do you do for a living? <laughs> okay. So, we went to go on vacation, but we, it can't be very expensive. And, um... So, so the things that I want to do that are like on my bucket list, Ireland is on my bucket list, an African safari is on my bucket list, and staying in a cabin in Montana. Those are the three of the things are on my bucket list. That's not going to happen. So <clears throat> we were thinking like we would go, like we love the beach. I'm, we I'm love. Sorry. I'm sorry. We get go. I have to go back because this was a good comment. I need to ask their well, help. Wait. Okay. So the two weeks the kids are going to go, gonna be gone. Lord, it'll be 10.30 p.m. all hours of the day, Naked City at the Rankies. <laughs> Christina, quit yeah. peeping in on us. Yeah. Christina, I have one thing to say about that. You're right. Okay. 
Anyway, we we thought we would go to the, like, do a beach thing, because that's usually the m most, I don't know, cheapest, like, go to Mexico kind of thing, but we would, where do y'all recommend? We would like to go somewhere that is all-inclusive. We would like to go somewhere where the food is good, okay? We're foodies, and we don't want to go somewhere and be like, oh my gosh, we are stuck here for the rest I've, of the week, and the food is crap. I've seen, uh, Come to mm -hmm. Utah. Come to Montana. I want to go to Montana so bad. It's on my bucket uh, list. Don saying Disneyland. I I might be misinterpreted, but I think they're inviting us. Oh, like, is somebody inviting us on vacation? Y'all, okay. Like who was that? Who was in the cabin? We'll go. <laughs> who is uh, oh San Diego? Um, who was Harriet? In, stop crying. Who was in uh, mm -hmm. Utah in the Utah cabin? Oh, she probably jumped off. Okay, anyway, do y'all have any suggestions? We want the food to be good. We want it to be safe. We want the food to be good. We want the beach to be pretty. We want the food to be good. We want it to be safe. We want it to be safe, and we don't want anybody to drug us. And y'all, there is a very, I mean, I'm not kidding you. If anybody is going to be trafficked, it's going to be me. It's going to 100% going to be me. I don't want to go anywhere where that's a risk for David. He can't live without me, okay? He can't live without me. And I don't want to be trafficked. I'm blonde. I'm big-bosomed. I'm a great time. It's for sure going to happen to me. So I'm we not, can't go anywhere where that's a risk, y'all. That's pretty much anywhere in the world. Have you not aged out of being trafficked? Can you do that? No, I don't think so. I think that I would provide entertainment for perhaps the cartel at very expensive um, get-togethers or, sh or uh, what do they call it in the cartel? In, uh, shindigs. Uh, shindigs. Um, I would be the woman that they would uh, bring out to entertain the troops of oh, um, like cartel the, workers. Like the elderly gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Like the grandfathers that are over on the side. <gasps> that took a turn and it was hurtful. <clears throat> anyway. Uh... We can't go to Cancun. We went there one time, and we went um, on a on a excursion well, from Melissa us. Melissa found us. Uh, a we went to a petting zoo. Lovely. And um, there was just rats in cages. To be fair, they there were, was just rats in cages. They were neutral rats, so they were large. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. They called them wild cats. They weren't. They were just rats with hair. So now we can't go back to Cancun. David said never. <laughs> Um, and so do y'all have any suggestions? Please tell me. Or do y'all have um, a cabin in Montana that anybody wants to... I'll, oh, I'll give it a great Yelp review. I'll do a live from there. I'll do a live from your cabin in Montana. But only if it's really good. I'm really picky about my Montana cabins. Um, um, so anyway, just wanted y'all to know if you can't... Okay. You can't age out when you're fabulous. <coughs> Mm. That's a bumper sticker. That's a bumper sticker. You can't age out when you're fabulous. The cartel's going to bring me out. They're going to parade me around. El Chapo's senior father, perhaps, will be there. Senor El Chapo. And he will like me. And he will be like, why didn't y'all bring her here sooner? And they'll be like, well, she didn't go to the Cancun petting zoo. <laughs> Until now. If, uh, <clears throat> also, if you're going to recommend some place, could you see that their horses are tall enough to carry a grown man so his feet do not Okay, I'm tired of that. And make marks we in the went, sand. Another thing we did was we went, I wanted to ride horses down the beach. I wanted to, too. I did and they get put to. David on a white horse and his feet drug in the sand. You could tell where we went because my feet. His feet just drug. And also, everywhere they took us, there were used condoms on the floor, on the ground. So Cancun was not a great experience for us. Somebody said Destin is beautiful. No Destin, and I'll tell you why. We've been to Destin, and it's really super, like, so much fun for the kids and activities for them. So we kind of want to do something where we don't miss our kids the whole time. And that, David and I are pretty crazy about our kids, and we know if we go anywhere that's the least bit family-friendly, <clears throat> we'll think about our kids the whole time, and we'll be like, oh, we did that with them. Remember when Rocco did that at Destin or whatever? We don't want that. We, we would even do, like, an adults only, but not one of those, not one of those. Clothing optional. Clothing optional. Okay? We want some time to ourselves. I don't want to go there. And if we start walking around clothing optional, we will have no time to ourselves. No time. Oh, my gosh. I Absolutely like, not. I like how somebody, the name went by, might have been a Deborah. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. 
uh, she was offering Kelly Clarkson's cabin in Montana. <laughs> she, oh, I'm sure Kelly appreciates was she, that. Was she offering Kelly Clarkson's cabin in Montana? <clears throat> okay, well, see what you can do about that. I'm coming for you, Kelly. I'm coming for Cindy you. Cindy said, how about a cruise? Cindy is, she is Cindy, that is confident. a petri dish on the water. She is confident. We do love cruises. Hey, I bet we could get some really good deals on cruises. I'm, I don't want to. And we might, we might have the boat to ourselves. Yeah. Okay. I got to go, everybody. Uh, Wait, I had another. No, we can't. We can't. I can't. Baby, I love you with all my heart, but I can't. My coffee has kicked in. Oh. So it, it, there's not a topic you can cover that I'm not about to cover. Back Next week, restaurant. we'll talk about how the Golden Gate Bridge is singing. Mm, we're gonna be we're gonna be on high alert. We're gonna be on high. Alert. You gotta sign off. You gotta sign off. You gotta sign off. My coffee is kicked in, and you got to sign off. I gotta go, everybody. I can't move to press that finish button. Tomorrow is we're here for you Wednesday. If you haven't sent in your questions, like what does it mean when Melissa's coffee kicks in, email us Melissa at melissaradke.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a Great Melissa at melissaradke.com. We want to take care of all of your questions. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, oh. Oh, it's too, it's too late. <laughs> oh, there it went. I'm just kidding. Bye, y'all.